Hi guys. Hey guys. So today we are gonna give you an update about our fence. Actually, the neighbor already fixed the fence. I think they're trying to uh, see they put some kind of like wood. They're trying to uh, harden the cement because they're they're putting like a cement in the bottom, just like the way it was before. And uh, I know it's not gonna be totally 100% perfect like the way it was, but at least they fix it. The neighbor there, they are the one who pay the expenses to fix it because well, I don't know. Because you can say, honey. Yeah, because they knew the drivers. <clears throat> they knew the driver of that truck. So when we, after we left, you know, the driver left. And it, so she had his information. She had his phone number. She knows where he works, blah, blah, blah. He said he was going to come back and fix it, which after two or three days, never heard from him. So she called him. I said, you know, when are you going to come back and fix this fence? And he said, I don't know how to fix a fence. And if you go to my employer, I'm going to get fired. Yeah. So, you know, luckily she stepped in for us because that would have left us no option. But she had a couple workers there working uh, on her house and she just yeah. had, she has had them do it. Probably not going to look exactly like it did before. I think the post is too tall. They didn't bury it deep enough, but at least it's functioning. But, you know, the way it works here is, you know, if we would have went to the guy's employer, he got fired. Then we would have had a vendetta against us because we took away his ability to provide for his family. You know, you can't, you don't want to go to the police here and make a police report. That's another big thing you can't do. As much as you can, you need to settle it out of the like, court or the barangay without even involving the barangay captain. Yeah, or if like you do it even without, you know, the only your only resort is go to the barangay captain, but even that can cause problems. You know, they yeah. just they just enacted and passed a bunch of new laws here how foreigners react uh, to Filipino citizens and especially Filipino women but it includes all Filipino citizens you know that you cannot raise your voice to them you cannot say anything derogatory to them you can't mm. you can't offend them offend them in any way uh, or you're liable to get kicked out of the country it's, all the laws here are to protect their citizens their country the laws are here are to protect their citizens not protect foreigners so you're kind of on your own here mm -hmm. and you, you can't you can't come here with a with a tough guy attitude and last very long you, know, right. you have to you know, you know I have problems uh, when I first got here just in my attitude that's for sure one of the main reasons I don't drive here now is I get too mad. So I let Marissa drive. And besides, if you get into an accident here and you're a foreigner, you're going to be at fault. You're going to wind up paying for any, so anybody's hospitalization or whatever else. If you don't, you go to jail. Unless you can make an agreement with the injured party and they'll agree to, you know, accepting some money then you don't you won't have to go to jail otherwise they'll put you right in jail so that's my experience for situations like this <clears throat> you have to accept what the what the laws and the customs are here like it or not unfair or not because they're designed to protect their citizens you know they're, they're not designed to protect uh, foreigners coming here so you know that's kind of how that is and we're lucky that uh, you know, you know, people here are very accepting of foreigners. Once that, once you prove to them, and you got to do that, that you're not a foreigner with an attitude. You know, once the, once you show them that you're an okay guy, you know, th you, things go fine here. We get along great with all of our neighbors. They're all very friendly. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, that's kind of the, the culture and the laws are designed here to protect the protect the citizens, not foreigner rights. So kind of hard to, to accept that sometimes but that's the way it is so we're lucky we had a neighbor that um, decided to fix that for us you know it's not like it was before at least it's up again did it <laughs> I think 
<laughs> the, I think this is the longest that I let you talk for a long time. Yeah, really. <laughs> I could have kept going, but uh, you look you just got irritated look on your face like I was talking too much. No, it's not. I was just a uh, kind of like uh, being amused listening to you talking and I was just here like looking around and just letting you talk for huh. how refreshing <laughs> well I, of course I let you talk why did, didn't I let you talk on our videos of course I did yeah, yeah I just <clears throat> because uh, about the fence that they're fixing you know our neighbor did it I was talking to the neighbor they're very nice people Her, they are a uh, newly wed uh, Kopo and uh, they're nice people and so they decided that they are gonna be the one to fix it since uh, they know those uh, people anyway or the driver or else she's saying that uh, if they would tell the company he would immediately be fired yeah. so you know they feel sorry for him and they decided that not to tell the company it, it's gonna cost him his job so they are just gonna fix it and we really appreciate it and uh even though i'm sure it's not gonna be as perfect like it was but it's uh it's gonna be you know it's gonna look fine you know it's it's, it's just a cyclone anyway yeah. it's not a uh, it's not like a like good a enough cement. To keep the dogs out that's the update on our fence and uh because there's a lot of uh, people were asking about oh they did they already fix the fence and all that so yeah. there's that's the update <laughs> yeah mainly i wanted to you know express the cautionary tale of how you de deal with things in the philippines and that's the way it, it is around here so mm -hmm. um watch the attitudes man you come yeah. over here i sure had to watch mine so anyway um that's the update for now Today is a gloomy day. The sun did not come out because it's kind of very cloudy. I think, uh, yeah. you know, there's a there's a low pressure today, yeah. and uh, it's probably gonna rain. So yeah, I'm we'll, sure it will this afternoon. We'll see what's gonna happen Perfect. today. Uh, we're just kind of like ha we're uh, by ourselves here, so we are really just relaxing and hanging out and just. I just figure out what to do. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you later. See you later. <laughs> what are you doing out here? Huh? What? What are you doing out here? Well, can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, you're sitting on something, doing something. All the Java apples are gone. A few, a few rotten ones on the ground, but the tree's empty. No more Java apples. So when do we when do we get more Java apples? Maybe uh, next year. Oh, well, only once a year. I think twice a year. Did You're not we... pulling this little dicondra grass, are you? Well, I'm not. I'm just pulling this. See. I'm yeah. pulling this. That's okay. You can pull those. Yeah, and this is our dinner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Eventually, all this little dicondra grass like this, eventually, hopefully, it'll all fill in. No, in the summer, they die. No. Well, so far, it hasn't died. Don't you? <sighs> I'm tired. Oh my god. Now this is a big plant. Look, oh, look big at leaves. this. It's getting big. I planted this like a few months ago. They yeah. were like like they were like that long. Yeah. Look how big uh, it is wow. now. Uh, See it's almost yeah. tall as me. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. Take a picture. Oh, I'll take a picture. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Oh look at this. Here, I'll show you. Now I wait. I was gonna show you guys. Look, we have mushroom, honey. Oh yeah. You think uh, we can eat that for dinner? I'm not eating it. I don't know Whoa. anything about these mushrooms. Well, I think it's an edible mushroom. You, Look. You think it is? Huh? You think it is? Well, yeah. I think I, I see some in the like uh, on TV. Like they eat mushroom. Oh, no. look at this one. Maybe this is the edible one. See? Yeah. Well, maybe it's not good enough. Uh, Wow! Definition for me to eat it. Huh? 
maybe it's not uh, definite enough for me to eat it. Oh, maybe oh. it won't kill you. Uh, maybe it'll taste good. If I try it first, would you no, eat it? No, you're not going to try it. No, you're not. Well, to prove, oh. see if, it, if, it, if it's edible. No. <laughs> eat it. Look at that. Yeah. yeah, I think that one is edible. Oh, look at this plant here. It's eating very big. Look how big the oh, leaves. Oh my god. Yeah, look how big the leaves is yeah. on this one. Is this the yellow sh the yellow section here? Huh? Is this the yellow section here? Yeah. Oh, look. Oh my gosh. See the fence here? Last time all my plants were all collapsing. Oh my god, I need... What happened? What you, what, the what net, they are trying to fix the net here. See? They are trying to fix that. Oh, but yeah. see, this is what happened like last time. This thing here. There's still a hole in the fence right there. Yeah, my plants are collapsed. When are they going to put the post in? Oh they're, oh, they're putting some cement there. See? Oh, wow, there's a lot of grass here. See? We need to pull. Huh? They're not gonna put a post there? I told you they're trying to hard the cement in the bottom before they're gonna put the post. I'm just trying to pull this grass. <laughs> Come on, it's raining out here. It's not raining, you're very OA. Destroyed, yeah, it's destroyed. I don't know. It needs to be fixed. Oh my gosh. Look at all this grass. Yeah. I need to pull. It was not here like one week ago. Look at this. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Look how long this grass now. I need to really. Oh my goodness. See, look. Look how yeah. long this grass is now. Yeah, shut right up. They grow very fast. My plants are not doing well, but the grass are doing well. You know? Yeah, let's go. Clean the car again? Yeah. Because there's a little dust in it. Yeah. I thought they had that fence fixed already. Well, you didn't want to look at it. Very disturbing. They tore that fence up more than I even thought they did. <laughs> 